Welcome to NIOS. Today we will study lesson number 16. The title of the lesson is Fundamental Rights and Fundamental Duties. Let us first of all understand about the basic meaning of rights and duties. Rights are those basic things which are necessary for the development of a person and have been recognized by society. Duty is something that a person is expected to do. Both rights and duties are related to each other. Let us try to understand this with the help of an example. It is the right of a child that his parents take care of him while it is the duty of the child to take care of his parents in old age. In this way, Rights are what we want others to do for us while the duties are those acts which we should perform for other people. Fundamental Rights Learners, fundamental rights are the basic rights of every citizen of the country. These rights are fundamental because number one, they are mentioned in the constitution. Number two, fundamental rights are justiciable. Enforceable through courts. In case if the fundamental rights of any person are not fulfilled, he can go to the court for his protection. Six fundamental rights have been mentioned in the constitution of India. These rights are, first is, right to equality, second is right to freedom, third is right against exploitation, fourth is right to freedom of religion, fifth is cultural and educational rights, and sixth is right to constitutional remedies. Let us discuss them one by one in detail now. Number one is right to equality. This right is very important in a big country like India where people of different religions, cultures, and castes who speak different languages live together. Therefore, the constitution has given right of equality to all the citizens of the country. This right is mentioned from article 14 to 18 of our constitution. Number two is right to freedom. The constitution of India provides right to freedom to all the citizens of the country. All Indians are free to say whatever they want to speak. They are also free to follow any religion 
and do any work they want to do. Right to freedom is provided under articles 19 to 22 of the constitution. Number 3 is right against exploitation. According to this right, no citizen of India should be exploited. The right against exploitation has been given in articles 23 and 24 of the constitution. The right gives protection from child labor that is no child below the age of 14 years should work in factories. Number 4 is right to freedom of religion. Learners, people of different religions live in India. Therefore, it is important that all the people are able to follow any religion they want to follow. According to the constitution, India is a secular state. It means that Indian state has no religion of its own. However, it gives freedom to all the citizens to have faith in any religion they like. Right to freedom of religion has been given under articles 25 to 28. Number 5 is cultural and educational rights. Learners, India is the largest democracy in the world. People of different religions, cultures and castes live here together. Therefore, it is necessary that all the cultures, languages and religions should be respected in the country. Article 29 to 30 give protection to culture and educational rights of people. Number 6 is right to constitutional remedies. We have already learnt that the fundamental rights are justiciable, That is, in case a person does not get fundamental rights, he can go to court. In fact, our constitution does not allow the legislature, that is a parliament and the executive that is the government to take away fundamental rights from any person. Therefore, when any of our rights are violated, we can go to courts for justice. We can directly go to the Supreme Court that can issue directions and orders for the enforcement of fundamental rights. Right to education Learners, in year 2009, right to education was also made a fundamental right.
according to this right all the children in the age group of 6 to 14 years will get free and compulsory education learners now that we have learnt about the fundamental rights let us try to understand about the fundamental duties also we have already learnt that in return for every right the citizens are expected to do certain things which are known as duties duties were not mentioned in the original constitution which was enforced on 26th january 1950 however 10 fundamental duties were added under article 51a in the year 1976 however the fundamental duties are non justiciable it means if these duties are not fulfilled by the citizens of the country they will not be punished the following 10 duties have been mentioned in the constitution of india number 1 is to respect the constitution and institutions of the country like the national flag national anthem number 2 is to respect and follow the ideals which inspired our national struggle for freedom number 3 is to protect the unity of india number 4 is to join army in case of danger to the nation number 5 is to promote peace in india and respect women number 6 is to protect the culture of the country number 7 is to protect the environment like forests lakes rivers etc number 8 is to develop the scientific temper humanism and the spirit of inquiry and reform number 9 is to protect public property and not to use violence number 10 is to work hard and achieve goals in life learners a new duty has also been added to fundamental duties parents should provide opportunities for the education of their children between the age of 6 and 14 years let us try to understand about the nature of fundamental duties dear learners as the fundamental duties are not justiciable that is in case the citizens do not fulfill the duties they cannot be punished therefore many times people do not take them seriously there is one more problem some terms are difficult for common people to understand for example a common citizen may not understand these three terms first is composite culture second is rich heritage third is humanism
What is the meaning of composite culture? Rich heritage, humanism, etc. People will realize the importance of these duties only when they understand their meaning. Therefore, it is important to make the language simple so that people can understand them. If the fundamental duties will be made justiciable, people will also start following them. Learners, before revising this lesson, let me ask you a question based on today's lesson. Question is, right to freedom has been included under which articles of the constitution? Options. First option is 14 to 18. Second option is 19 to 22. Third option is 25 to 28. And fourth option is 29 to 30. The correct option is second option. That answer is article number 19 to 22 of the constitution. Let us now revise today's lesson. Number 1. We learnt about meaning of fundamental rights. Number 2. We also learnt about the various fundamental rights mentioned in our constitution. Number 3. We came to know about the fundamental duties. Number 4, we also came to know about the various fundamental duties. With this, we have come to the end of this lesson. I hope you liked watching this video. If you have any queries, you may send us your queries to signlanguage at nios.ac.in. For more information, you may visit our website www.nios.ac.in. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Namaskar.